Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me again for another video. So glad that you're here. So in today's video, another Timu haul, okay? We're just gonna be doing these at least once a week, I'm sure, because they're either sending me something or I'm buying something myself, stuff that I need for around the house and stuff I don't need, okay, if I'm being honest. So today, I have 30 items from Timu that I spent $30 on, which means the average price of each item is a dollar. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so I'm gonna unbox it all for you today. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got. And y'all, there is no coupon code needed. Or at least when I got these items, they were all under the lightning deals, which means that you don't need a coupon or anything. Now, if you do have a coupon, you can stack it and you can save even more money, okay? But you don't need a coupon, which is awesome because sometimes you don't want to have to fumble around trying to find a coupon code, asking people if they have coupon codes. You just want to be able to buy something without a coupon, okay? So we're going to unbox everything today, so let's get into it. y'all this is just gonna be a normal thing we're doing here okay and I'm, I'm excited about it because I just love reviewing things for you because you know if I'm honest I don't need all of this stuff a lot of stuff I do get intentionally because I just want to make sure I'm not buying things that I absolutely will not need just to do a review on but when Timu typically sends things to me, that's the time when I'm going ham and I'm just gonna get whatever I want, even if it's stuff I wouldn't typically buy because I wanna give you guys an honest review so that you can see if these items are worth buying. And even if I don't need it, you may need it. So, because that's just what we do on this channel, all right? So this is everything in frame and then you guys, I also got this beautiful case, okay? You guys know that this case is on Amazon and it ain't cheap, okay? Or at least maybe it is now, but it wasn't when I was searching because I had this in my cart for some time. And so Timu had this on pre-sale, so I was able to get it. It didn't come with this. There's another phone case here that I'm gonna show you that this is designed for, but I wanted to use this case and I like having a little stopper on the back or a pop socket, whatever you call it so I decided to just use it for this instead of that so this case is gorgeous look at the side of it absolutely love the design of this case okay so this is one of the items but you won't see it because I'm showing you now okay so I'm gonna move all of this out the way and we are gonna unpackage all of this stuff this is 30 items and I spent I think a little less than $30 or right at $30 for all of this stuff which is 30 items and that's insane like where do you go where you know that you're gonna be able to buy 30 items for $30, okay? You used to be able to do it at the dollar store, but now that it's the $1.25 store, you can't even do it there. And it's free shipping, you guys, if you're not really familiar with Timu, it's free shipping and it's free return. So, and I've never had an issue, never. Now, I don't wanna speak it into existence, but I personally have never had an issue with Timo, okay? So let's start with these gorgeous phone cases. I did post this on my socials recently and I wanted to switch out my phone case and I said, let me just get one from Timo. So the beautiful thing about this one is that it's got a pocket. So as you can see, this kind of detaches from the back here and you can slide in your credit card or whatever you need, gift card, cash. So I love that it has this little pocket here. So I'll show you how that looks on my case. I don't have anything that I can put in there to show you how the pocket works, but I think you'll get the gist of it. It fits perfectly like a glove. It's so beautiful with that white iPhone background. And so you would literally slide in your credit card or whatever inside that little slot there. So that's a gorgeous case. And then I also got this one. So that's why that residue is there because this case is the one that the pop socket came with. Still a gorgeous case, very good quality. So I'm gonna toggle between the three cases. So those are the first items up on the list and I showed it on my socials because I just couldn't wait to use it so I had to go ahead and do an unboxing there look at the front the little scallops there that is just so beautiful and so this is the unboxing of it because it did come in this order as well so this is a part of the 30 items I think it's either 30 or 31 items y'all it's insane Okay, so let's move on. I've got these. These are like the um, sponges that are supposed to help with like cleaning your walls. They are a dupe of the, um, y'all know what I'm talking about. Don't make me think. <laughs> so these are supposed to be really good. They had a high star rating as well. And most of these products had at least a four to a four and a half to a five star. 
So I don't just go on buying things um, just because I'm still intentional and I make sure to get things that are of high quality, that are popular, that people can vouch for and that I need. Okay, so I got two packs of those because you, you can always use these. Dry erase, dry erase, y'all know, well, is it dry erase y'all? Erasable sponge, y'all know the ones that I'm talking about. So leave it in the comments below so everybody will know what I'm talking about because I can't think right now. Okay, and then I've got this little brush here. This is supposed to be great for cleaning your tumblers because y'all, my family cup is like really, really messy in between the grooves. It gets dirty, and so this is a pretty stiff bristle, bristles. So you're supposed to be able to take this brush and go on the inside of your cup to get inside of those tight corners so you can make sure there's no mold under there and you can just make sure it stays clean. So I went ahead and bought that because I needed one of these desperately, okay? Okay, what's next? And I think we're gonna be doing Timu versus Amazon on some of these videos. And again, like I mentioned in my last video, some of you guys like me to unpackage it on camera. You enjoy the sound of it. <laughs> and I am, I do consider myself somewhat of an ASMR enthusiast. I mean, I really, really love ASMR. And you guys do too. Um, so some of you said not to, and most of you said to open it and that you really enjoy it. So we're gonna keep doing it. Okay, so this is a travel toothbrush. Look at how sleek that is. I think I'm gonna give this to my husband. And I'm not sure if they have the rebate replaceable heads for this it would be nice if they did although it's just so darn cheap that you really don't need one because this isn't going to last forever but it's compact and it fits inside this little container here that way you could be able to travel and you can have a toothbrush on the go so i'm either going to give this to my husband or i'm going to keep this in my car i think it is nice to have a toothbrush on the go just in case okay i know that's extra for some of you guys but some of you do travel with a toothbrush and so i might be one of those people okay all right, so this right here is for blackhead removal. I get blackheads really bad, y'all. And I was looking for something that I could use to be able to help to remove those. And y'all, just so you know, I'm gonna sterilize anything that goes on my body, okay? So I did recently talk about some travel razors I got and you guys were saying I'm gonna have razor burn and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, do y'all not know that I do test it to make sure that it works? And then also, I'm not just gonna use it straight out of the box, okay? That's why I wash my chicken, okay? Let me just say that. And I know some of you guys have a whole thought about that, but I wash my chicken. I wash everything. So this is not gonna be any different from that, y'all. Okay, so let me see how you open this. All right, so I love they came in this little case here and it's got several tools here. Very good quality for you to be able to do some blackhead work, okay? So I get them particularly around my nose area. And so I'm gonna see exactly how you use these tools because I've just kind of dealt with it or I use the Biore patches and those seem to work really well. But I wanna see if I can do use these tools to make it even better but i do love that it came in a case that, that's so helpful so if you want to travel with these you can stick them in your travel bag okay so this is item number four okay number five is this travel bag i thought it was just so cute or is it a travel towel maybe it's a travel towel Okay, yeah, it's a travel towel. And I think it's a cooling towel, if I can remember. It's kind of like a scarf shaped, y'all. And sometimes I feel like I might need to look on Timu just to verify that what I'm talking about is what I'm talking about. I get so much stuff from Timu, and so sometimes I have to go in and say, okay, is this what I think it is? And verify that that's, that's the thing. So remember, go on to the lightning deal section. Don't sleep on the lightning deal section because they got a ton of stuff in there and keep refreshing it because the items change. I noticed when I was buying all of this stuff, I had to, because I wanted to keep it at $30 so I could be true to the video, of course. Um, and so I was uh, refreshing the page and I kept noticing things popping in and popping out and it was like better than the previous item. So I would remove it from the cart and then I would add the next item. Y'all, this took me a whole hour to because they, they kept popping up some good stuff and i was like well never mind about that let me get this instead okay thirty dollars and 93 cents so yes we are right where we need to be okay and then they gave me a price adjustment for 76 cents which means we are like right almost at 30 dollars. okay so let's see okay so yes this is a cooling towel all right so what i decided i was going to do with this is put in my tennis bag um if you guys don't know i am an tennis fanatic i love tennis okay and i play i play on thursdays i play alta and then my friend and i we play doubles together and my husband and i play from time to time we try to stay married so sometimes we can't always play every season but we did win the whole thing for one season so that worked out well for us 
Uh, so we do try to play. My son plays and my daughter's in academy. So we just love tennis. So I'm gonna keep this in my bag because it's a cooling towel. So when I wet it or if I bring my cooler and I dip it in the ice, it's gonna come out cool because on those hot days, this is gonna come in handy. And I try not to play during the summer, but every now and then I play in the summer. I don't play in the winter. I do play fall and spring. Um, but on those hot summer days, that towel is gonna come in so handy, okay? All right, next thing I got, I think I'm gonna give this to Addison because I already have one that plays music. And maybe I'll see if Timu has one that plays music. I got one from Amazon. It's black though. And my husband kind of stole it from me. But you can't go wrong with a nice little mask, right? So this is just your eye mask for when you're sleeping. Um, it's really cool to just have one. And so I love that this is pink. Addison sleeps with one as well. I'm not sure if this would fit her, but she does have big hair, so it might fit her. So either way, I'll either keep it or I'll give it to Addison. It was, so, again, so cheap, a dollar. and. If I'm being honest, some stuff was more than a dollar and some stuff was less than a dollar, but it all averaged out, of course, to be about a dollar. OK, so this is really nice. I'm sure it comes in several colors and it is a satin sort of material and it's beautiful. It's very well made and I am not mad at it. OK, all right. Next, I got a foot scrubber, so I don't do my feet at home. I'm not going to open it either because I need it to stay sanitized and I will sanitize this further just to make sure everything is all good. Um, but I don't do my feet at home, but every now and then I do um, like to kind of do some cleanup work in between my pedicures. So I got this as well. feels like your typical one that you see at the nail salon. Um, I don't really see a difference in them. It doesn't have as much weight. It is a little bit lighter. And so I'm not, I'm sure it's not gonna last for that long, but it's cool to have in your, your foot care collection, if you will. Okay, so these are next and these are perfect for traveling and even if you're not traveling. But I, I typically will stick these in my travel bag, but it is toothbrush covers. All right, so you just open it like so. All right, and then you're able to put your toothbrush right on the inside and you can have it protected. So I'm gonna toss these in my travel bag. It does come in a set of four because I, I sometimes lose these. But you take it off and then you're, you know, you misplace it. So it's good to just have them on hand. So it comes in all of these colors blue pink green and then that brown color so this is just a great little travel find and i'm gonna do a roundup of all of the timu travel items that i love um just so you guys can see that in one video because there are so many items that i was able to find on timu for traveling that are pretty much the same as amazon's okay so i showed this to you guys in the last video this is very similar to the square ones i showed you you plug them in and they are they are um, lights, little lights, y'all. So let me see if I can find my mobile charger so I can test them out. I like to test them on video so you guys know that this stuff works. Okay, so all you do is plug it into any USB and it should turn on. Okay, is my charger dead, y'all? Uh-oh, my charger is dead. Okay, so let's see if we can finagle this real quick, y'all. Plug it in. Or maybe I should just test it off to the side. I just had it on. That's the strangest thing. It just worked in the last video. Did I not turn it off? Okay, so I tested it off to the side because I couldn't get my situation to work, okay? So I need to charge up this charger so that way I could do it like I did in the last video where I just plugged it up to this and it worked out. So I gotta charge this up. So excuse the mess, okay? But you see it plugged up over here. So you just gotta leave it there. It's not going to turn off by itself, which is a little bit of a bummer, but hey, it's like, I think I don't even know like 25 cents for this little light bulb okay so for 25 cents it's gonna have to stay on okay that's just a part of what it's gonna do okay but it's so cute and I demonstrated last time that you can plug it up to a mobile charger let's say you're on the go and you need a flashlight and this is kind of a little hack for that so just keep these in your car just in case you never know when you might need them you can also plug them into your car so if you're just in the situation where you need more light um, you know whatever happens it's just good to have stuff like this um, in case a disaster happens or something happens happens where you need to have a flashlight but you don't actually have one so this is such a cool alternative for that so as you can see it does work so let's see if this one works because I like to test things out for you guys too so that you know that I'm not, not buying things vouching for them and they don't work so I'm gonna toss these in uh, or keep these in my car and so that way I just have them I do have the square ones as well so between those square ones and these 
it should be good to go and you can plug them also throughout your house so if you want to just have it illuminate again it is going to stay on so it might you know i'm not sure how well it's going to do with sucking the power making the electricity go up i wouldn't think it would go up too much but hey do your research and it also is a great quality so it's not like a super cheap plastic or glass so sh these should hold up very well over time and they're just so cute they're just so cute so that's what's next up on the list all right y'all so then i got this brush here and this brush is supposed to fit soap inside of it right here so I can put some soap inside and then I'm able to press the brush to get the soap to come out and I can use it in the shower you probably could also use this as a cleaning brush so it's just a cute little brush that you can use to scrub I'm not you know again I would sanitize it first just to make sure you're all good or not it's up to you so you probably could use this for both the bristles are a little tough so it might be a little tough on your skin um so you may just want to use this as a cleaning brush it probably is designed for cleaning but um i could see this being used for multiple things so it's just a little cute little plastic brush with a little soap opening right there okay next i got these two little containers you can use these for a lot of different reasons okay you can use these for your kids to put yogurt in here or to put um applesauce or anything like that uh, you could also use them for travel so that's why i got them i think i'm going to use these at the gym i'm going to fill these up with conditioner or uh, shampoo and uh, body wash and then i'm going to keep them in my gym bag so that way i have them they have this little snap top right here so you can reuse these and um, so i'm just going to tuck them right on into my gym bag and then i'll have less because um, right now i'm taking full size items y'all if you guys saw my last reel not my last one but one of my reels where i showed how i packed my gym bag i did use full size items just because i have them you know um they're not taking up you know i mean they're taking up extra space in my bag it could be a smaller footprint that's why i got these but i have a ton of those items around the house so i'm not missing them here but i am going to go ahead and take them and put them in here and that's going to help me out even more i might even do lotion and body wash because i don't always wash my hair at the gym my gym does have those items too but i like to bring my own stuff okay so i got two of those all right next up is i'm not sure if you guys are this girl or this guy but i keep socks in my car because when i go to people's houses i'm not walking on anybody's floor barefoot because i'm just not i don't walk on my own floor barefoot i either have socks on because the floor is cold and then also i don't know i just feel very I'm just like that okay I don't like stuff sticking to the bottom of my feet sometimes around my house there may be like just little um, crumbs or whatever in between you know sweeping and I don't like that stuff stuck to the bottom of my feet especially when I get in the bed I'm always like telling my husband wipe your feet you know because all that stuff ends up in the bed and I don't know I'm just grossed out by it um, and so I keep socks in my car so that way when I go to people's houses I have a pair of socks and I keep typically one for myself and one for Addison and I also typically do black i am into black white single color socks that just make it easier because when you buy all of one color when it's time for mating you know that you're gonna have that sock so i typically stick to just all the same brand typically and i get them on amazon but these were so cheap i was like let me test them out and see if they're good and y'all these are very good i am not mad at them at all i would buy a ton more of these the quality is very very good and i think they come in black or white and they come in a multi-piece set i happen to have gotten five pieces but i believe they come in more so i'm going to stick these back in the bag and i'm just going to put the whole bag in my car because sometimes i end up coming back into the house with the socks on that are supposed to be left in my car or addison does and then we don't have socks in the car so i'm gonna just toss the whole bag in my trunk and that way i'll have socks when i'm going to somebody's house okay which is very important to me and then also y'all sometimes my feet ain't done <laughs> and i don't want people to be looking at my busted feet so i was like let me keep socks in my car okay and so i can conceal that all right so who loves so who doesn't love a good scrunchie y'all so this has a little flowery pattern on them addison loves scrunchies so i really got these for her but i could use them as well and I love when the scrunchies are tight holding, so I don't always have to wrap them twice. I have so much hair, typically I have braids, and Addison has big hair as well. And so sometimes you just wanna be able to throw it on just like this, and you wanna know that your hair is gonna be secure. So I got two of these, super cheap again as well, and I love the quality. 
And so these, I'm just gonna probably keep one in my car um, and keep one in my purse because I like to be able to have scrunchies on hand. So I, I typically keep them available to me, okay? All right, so we are down to the last few things. All right, so these are the same lights as the ones I showed you before. And I showed these to you in my last video. I didn't realize I got them again. Again, you could just take these and put them all over the house if you have the USB outlets. And even if you don't, if you have a plug, you could plug this into that. And you have night lights all around your house. These are so cute. So I just got them just to be able to have backups. All right, and you guys saw the ones from earlier. They're a little bit different shape, all right? And then I got this whistle that I'm going to put in my go bag. So I talked about my go bag in the last video. I am gonna do a two part reels on this, um, on my go bag because uh, it's important. I think everybody should have a natural disaster bag or supplies just in case. Um, and we do, we have one for each one of our family members that has like gas masks in them. It has flashlights, it has matches, it has food, it has everything you need to survive for a little bit of time. So this is an item that I wanted to add just in case you're in trouble, you need people to hear you, you can't scream as loud, kind of like the Titanic situation, you know what I mean? Remember when Rose had that whistle and she blew the whistle and then the people came over and rescued her? So I was like, yes, I need to get one of those for my bag, okay? I really need to get more than one of these so everybody can have one. Let me blow it real quick so y'all can hear how it sounds. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my ears hurt. It's pretty loud, right? And you can put it on your keychain if you want, but I am just going to toss it in the bag. I'm gonna show you guys again reels with what I have in my bag and how I have everything organized. So stay tuned for that. But I thought this was just a great buy for survival purposes. Um, really for any reason, you know, if you wanna just give, let your kid have one, that way if they're in trouble, they can blow the whistle. Um, I think everybody should have one as a part of their go bag situation, okay? I also wanted to get these because these I thought were a necessity as well. And I think I'm gonna put these in my go bag also, but this is soap. All of these little individual things are soaps. Okay, so there's a ton of those in here and I'm pretty sure you can buy restocks from somewhere. Um, so I thought this would be a nice addition to that as well. I'm trying to think about that um, as the world continues to deteriorate, you know, um, and things are just happening so often to just make sure that we're prepared, all right? Then y'all know this, everybody, every aesthetic Amazon girly who does unboxings has one of these. And I have some of these as well that I got from Amazon, but this was so cheap. So I'm gonna keep this in my drawer over here. It's just your average slicer to be able to open up packages or whatever you decide to use it for. It was so dang on cheap. It's pink and it's in a cloud shape and it retracts automatically, all right? Okay, winding things down y'all. So I, al I also got these. For some reason, I thought it came with a container too. Sometimes the pictures are deceiving. But this is a little spatula situation. I love how they're individually wrapped. I love individually wrapped things, especially until you're ready to use them. But this is a little scooper for your makeup or your lotions or your whatever it is to be able to scoop it out of the container and um, use it that way. So that way you don't have to scoop with your fingers. Um, hair products you could use this for. Not quite sure what this other hand is for y'all. Maybe it's just decoration to hold it, but it's just a cute little spatula. Let me open it out of the package so you can see it. So that's how that looks. And it's made of like a, a heavy duty plastic material. So it's just a cute little spatula that you could use for different things. And it came in a set of two. All right, I love when stuff comes in multiple pieces. All right, so now we are moving on to this brush that I got for my back in the shower. Let's feel the bristles to see how they feel. Oh, that's really soft. Okay, that's really, really soft. This is more like it. The other one I'm sure is for cleaning, but this one is for my back. So I'm gonna hang it up in my shower. As you can see, it's got the little hole here for you to be able to hang it. I love that it's white. So it is gonna go with the decor because I am big on that too, y'all. I like everything to look and match. It's just the way I am, don't judge me, okay? And so this is gonna come in handy to be just sitting in the shower waiting to be used. And it is made of a really good material as well. So that's next, it's long enough. Let's see, can it reach my back? Oh yeah, it can reach pretty far down my back. So we are good to go when it comes to it being functional as well, okay? Okay, so we are down to the last two, three, five items, all right?
Okay, next up is this USB light. Okay. And I'm sure I got this for a specific purpose, but I can't think of what that is, y'all. I think I probably got this for my go bag as well. I try to jam pack that thing with a lot of different things. And I also try to make sure it has a small footprint. So if anything happens, I can connect this to my flashlight, which I have one of those flashlights that does a whole bunch of different things. It charges your phone and is solar powered. So if we need additional light, we could just plug this into that and then we'll have some additional light. Let me make sure it works. So y'all can know, yep, it does work. I could also use it in my office, y'all look. Isn't that so cute? And so it rotates and you can use it. Um, you know, you could attach it to your phone. It just, you know, it's just good, a uh, cute little light. So I love that it's USB and that it plugs into that outlet there. So I'm gonna leave it in the bag. So I really had my go bag in mind when I bought items for this video, you guys. I just like to make sure that we're prepared. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it in the bag like that and I'm gonna toss it in my go bag. This is another item for my go bag, so I'm not gonna open it. I only got one of them. I'm curious to see how this is gonna work out. But y'all, when you wet this, it's supposed to turn into a full-fledged towel. Let me show you. Now, I don't know how full-fledged it can be, y'all, because I just, I don't understand how it could be like that. Okay, so look, look at the video. Let me show you. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? So I'm gonna get more of these. I'm a, This is another go bag item because we may need a towel and it's just good to have. And this is so compact. Look at how big it gets. That's insane. That's why I got it. Y'all see why I got it? And look, you can just fit it right in your bag. Okay, so yes, we're gonna get more of these. We need at least 10 of these and they're so small. And there's so many different purposes for this. So this is a definite yes for me for go bag. So I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, then I've got another one of these that I'm gonna give away to my mother-in-law. Um, so basically what you do with this is you put this over your sink and it holds your sponges and your, your tools, you know, your in-sink tools. So we have a little thing in our sink that holds our sponge, our dish towel, the sink stopper. Uh, so I love that it detaches so that you can clean it if you need to clean it, but you just hang it right over your sink. And then this part right here buckles in and it sits over your um, spout, your, your faucet, as opposed to being attached over the sink like you typically would. You hang it around your faucet and then you put all the things inside. So I love the color of it. Y'all saw I have one of these already and then I like to, you know, gift things to people too on occasions. And my mother-in-law, she said, anytime you get anything you don't want, then, I'm your girl. So I specifically got this with her in mind. All right. Last two things, y'all. So I thought these were so cute, y'all. Some of this stuff, again, is, is so unnecessary, but it brings me joy. Okay. So this is a cute and tiny little bottle and it's glass. So I was thinking I was going to put, I'm gonna put my eye drops in here um, because I do use eye drops a lot and I only have one bottle right now. So I need to, I need it to stay upstairs in my room. So I said, let me just get this. I am gonna sterilize it first because I don't put nothing in my eye unless it's been cleaned. And because I'm very particular, I did have laser eye surgery or I have PRK surgery. So I'm very particular about my eyes now. I wanna make sure that they last as long as they can last. Cause if, you know, the doctor said that eventually I'm gonna need reading glasses and I'm starting to see that my vision isn't as good as it was when I first got it. So anyways, anytime you put stuff in your eye, you need to make sure that you are very particular about what it is. It is made from glass, but I just think it's just the cutest little dropper y'all. Okay, yeah. And, so I got it, <laughs> all right, and it is glass, just so you know. All right, this is the last item. So I have been really heavily into self-care lately. Again, we gonna sterilize it, okay? But this is the tongue scraper. And so I thought it might be a good idea to have one of these in my collection. So it's made of a metal, it's a pretty good quality. And, um, and so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna start using this as a part of my self-care routine. So I'm gonna put it back in the package until I get ready to use it, until I find a place to store it so that it doesn't get cross-contaminated with different things. Okay, let me put everything back in frame so you can see everything that I got. It's insane that I got all of this stuff 
for $30. Like that is just crazy, especially when it comes to these phone cases. Cause y'all know this phone case right here. And let me look it up real quick because I just need y'all to know how good of a deal I got on all of this stuff. And this phone case is in my Amazon store. Okay, look at that right here. This case is $10.99, right? Look, same exact thing. Tell me where's the difference. I wish I could flip this over. This one has three grooves. This one has three grooves. I mean, it looks exactly the same, y'all. It looks exactly the same. Okay, and this one is more expensive, all right? Now, I don't have them both, so I can't compare them, but this is a pretty popular phone case. A lot of people buy this and it does have a pretty high star rating, four stars. It's probably the same one, y'all. <laughs> it's probably the same exact one. Okay, and this one from Timu, let me tell you how much this one costs. And I had to get it on a pre-order because it wasn't available yet. How much you think it is? I'm gonna let y'all guess. Child, why is this a dollar and 35 cents? Why? Okay, a dollar and 35 cents. So you see that phone right there is, is already a third of what I paid. The phone case from Amazon is a third of what I paid for all of this stuff. Tell me what's the difference between the two. There's no difference. I'm thinking if I ordered this from Amazon, y'all, it's going to be the same exact one. Let me know if y'all want me to do that. I will do that for y'all. I have no shame in that. Okay, so there's that. Okay, and then remember, we got all of this stuff over here. I just typically put it off to the side until the end of the video so I can bring it back in frame and show you guys every single thing that I got so you could get perspective and you could see how much money you need to spend to get this sort of this amount of items now everything's not gonna be this scenario because of course everything from Timu is not a dollar <laughs> but if you look in that section I told you about you you'll be able to find some good stuff and it's always changing so this all right here, 30 items was $30. And as y'all saw, this is good quality stuff. This isn't, this isn't just all useful throwaway stuff. This is stuff that I actually will use, okay? So again, I'm very intentional with what I buy. Um, some stuff is definitely not necessary, case in point, okay? Some stuff is just a pure desire, a want, you know? It's not a need. And really most of this stuff is not a need. It's just uh, very, some stuff is more functional than others. So that is the haul, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this sort of content. If you do, and you want me to continue these type of videos, which are my most popular videos now, y'all. I try to mix it up though, but make sure to like this video so I can continue to know that this is the type of content you wanna see. Okay, so thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you will if you're new here. And as always, I want you to come back by and catch another video, in which case I'll see you guys then.